Good morning children. Welcome once again to this online Sunday class. Hope all of you are doing really well. Let us recap what we learned in our last class. In our last class, after the lame man was healed, Peter and John are taken up into the synagogue and have been questioned how did they perform this miracle. Peter answered, it is not through our own powers, but by the name of Jesus Christ, this lame man was healed. They were warned and told not to proclaim the good news. And even after explaining them, they did not listen. They went on continuing proclaiming the good news. Again, they were called, they were flogged. And again, they were told not to proclaim the good news. However, they rejoiced. And they were happy because they had gone through suffering because Christ has chosen them. Let us continue our story in our today's session. But before that, I will have a small game for you. My dear children, let us play a small game. Charles and Flats. What is the difference between people living in Charles and people living in Flats? I will present to you three life situation. Please write down the answers and then we will check the answers in the later part. Mary is in standard third, lives with her parents and her old grandmother. Every morning, Mary leaves home and her parents who drop her at school and then proceed to work. As Mary kisses her grandmother goodbye, she feels very sad that Granny will be all alone at home until she returns at 4.30 p.m. in the evening. In the second life situation, there is a wedding in the family. The relatives have been invited and three families from their village in Goa have come to Mumbai for celebration. Each family has four members to be accommodated. How will the family in the chawl and the family in the flat respond to the situation? Can I write down? In the third situation, the World Cup match finals will be telecasted live at 2 a.m. in the morning. Children are all set to watch the match. Many elders in the home do not like cricket and will not like to be disturbed at any cost. How will the family in the chawl and the family in the flat respond to the situation? Discuss and write down. These are some of the answers for the three life situation which we discussed. I hope most of you have got the answers right. The early community of believers formed a family praying and caring for each other. The resurrection of our Lord was such a unique event never ever heard before in the history of any people, the early followers of Jesus gathered together in the temple or in their home to thank and praise the risen Lord. They were full of joy to see many signs and wonders done through the apostles. With great power, the apostles spoke of the resurrection of Lord Jesus in whose name the sick were being healed. The people with one heart and soul sang psalms of joy and hope. They were united like brothers and sisters of one family, loving each other and welcoming all those who got baptized into their community. The believers also gathered together to break bread in their homes. Breaking bread means Eucharist or Holy Communion. The earlier Christians celebrated the Eucharist in their homes after reading passages from their 
holy books. This gathering could be compared to our Sunday Mass. In the first part of the Mass, we listen to the Word of God proclaimed from the Bible. In the second part of the Mass, the priest breaks the big host and people eat the small host. At both these part, the people worship Jesus, the Savior and the Lord. The community loved one another so much that they shared their food and position in common. Nobody said, this is mine or that is yours. But they said, let us share our food, our homes. They ate and drank what each one brought with glad and generous hearts. People who owned lands or many houses sold them and gave the money to those in need. Isn't that a beautiful act of love towards the poor? The Acts tell us of a believer named Joseph who sold a field which belonged to him and brought the money and laid it at the feet of the apostles. The apostles gave him a surname, Barnabas, which means son who encourages. He encouraged others to serve the community and more than ever believers were added to the Lord. Great numbers of men and women ready to serve the community with love. The early community lived like a big family, praying and worshipping Jesus in their homes. They served one another with love. This was indeed a new way of life as baptized followers of Jesus. Let us all sit straight and imagine that we are present at the time of the apostles who are living in one community. Imagine a house made of stone with big gardens surrounding it. Picture olive trees and cypress trees in a cluster in one part of the garden. They offer much shade to the people who sit under them as they wait in the afternoon for the prayer service. Just then, Peter and John and James enter with a new group of people and all stand to welcome them. The apostles greet the people, calling them by name, asking about their health, their work situation, etc. Then Peter points to the new group of believers who received baptism just the day before. All the people greet the new group, embracing them, saying, Peace of the risen Lord be with you. Let us close our eyes and take your place on the green grass outside the house. Be attentive now to what Peter is going to say to the community. All the people of Israel then are to know for sure that this Jesus whom you crucified is one that God has made Lord and Messiah. Jesus is the one of whom the scripture says the stone that the builders despised turn out to be the most important of all. The whole community stood up to praise the Lord Jesus. All kept shouting with joy, Jesus is the risen Lord. Alleluia. Let us all gently open our eyes and repeat as the believers proclaim loudly, Jesus is our risen Lord. Alleluia. Can I repeat after three times? Jesus is our risen Lord. 
Alleluia. Jesus is our risen Lord. Alleluia. Jesus is our risen Lord. Alleluia. Peter invites the whole community to recite a psalm of joy and thanksgiving. When Jesus was alive, he also prayed the psalm. At the Sunday Mass, we too respond to the reading with a psalm. We shall now recite the Psalm 26. Your response will be, The Lord is my salvation. He is my light. Alleluia. Can you listen carefully to the tune and respond? Our response for Psalm shall be, The Lord is my salvation. He is my light, Alleluia. Please repeat. The Lord is my salvation. He is my light, Alleluia. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? Our response. The Lord is my salvation. He is my light. Alleluia. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness. In the land of the living, open him, hold firm, and take heart. Open the Lord. Our response The Lord is my salvation, He is my light. Hallelujah. My dear children, from today's class, God is giving an invitation to the apostles to live in small communities, for they offer an opportunity to witness true Christian life. Let us all sing together the action song, It's I, It's I, It's I Who Build a Community. Let us watch the video and sing along. It's me, it's me, it's me who built community. It's me, it's me, it's me who built community. It's me, it's me, it's me who built community. It's me who built community. La la la. Roll over the ocean, roll over the sea. Roll over the ocean in the deep blue sea. Roll over the ocean, roll over the sea. It's us, it's us who built community. 
my dear children please write down the activity for this week how many small christian communities scc or bcc are there in our parish which community zone do you belong to how many families are there in your community how often these families meet for community or zonal meetings how can i contribute help in my scc dear children i hope you liked and enjoyed today's class thank you for your participation take care and god bless you